guys was kind of a lot of talk after last game just about the improvements that you guys can make offensively, just kind of playing a little more efficiently. What do you see out there in terms of room for improvement for for you guys on that end of the floor? Um, I think turnovers, uh, turnovers, and I think mainly turnovers. I mean, I think the last couple of games we've been in the mid to high twenties. That's a lot. Uh, I mean. I think that's a lot of possessions where we're not getting the ball. Or at least getting a look at the rim, a like shot at the rim. So I think turnovers for sure. Do you see any kind of like common threads in the turnovers? Or is it, are there one or two things you guys can do um, just to kind of clean that up a little bit? Clean you know, up passes. I think that's the biggest thing. Let's clean up the passes and then uh, playing in the crowds and we can kick the ball out. Uh, I think those two are just amazing. Mm -hmm. the yeah, the spacing, like, Kind of yeah. spread each other out a little bit so you're not yeah. kind of a lot of in. times the, the spacing isn't that bad yeah. it's just you know driving into the crowd and either trying to make a tough play or just you know not realizing you know you have a guy right behind you or beside you and you know you just forget to or not forget but you don't really see that read so I don't think, I don't think it's obviously purposeful but uh, I mean I just you know just playing into the crowds and cleaning up on passes I think that's the big, biggest the major things is it kind of exciting to think about like how you guys are still being able to pile up wins even while you're making these mistakes. So if you can clean yeah. up a few things, the, the steps you can take. 100%. I mean, I mean at, the end of, at the end of the day, the end goal is to win. So we kind of find a way and pull it out. Um, but I think, you know, it would be a much easier and more, uh, I would say, much easier and a more, like, satisfying one if we, you know, clean up that one area. And I think it would be a lot better. It seems like, you know, uh, along this pinch and stick here, you guys kind of have on offense, like sometimes you're, you're really in rhythm, you're in sync, and sometimes it kind of falls out of it for mm -hmm. a while. So when, when, it, when it goes to kind of one of these lulls, what are maybe one or two things you have to get back to doing that, that um, is happening when you're really running on all filters? Just moving the ball side to side, uh, playing through our actions, uh, you're cutting, you know, just making those extra plays or extra reads. Uh, you know, kind of sometimes the ball gets stagnant, which happens on any and every team. Uh, it goes for these possessions where you know we might have to have Mike have the ball and he calls something. You know, just just things like that. I mean, it's, it happens with every team. So. When it comes to the, the turnovers, is there is there a line between being aggressive, playing aggressively, and also taking care of the ball? Kind of how, how does that how does that balance work on this team? Um, being aggressive but also being careful at the same time. I mean, we have a lot of freedom on this team, uh, like you said, with Coach. Uh, kind of like, kind of lets us play for the most part. So you kind of like, if he doesn't help us at that time, we kind of got to figure it out ourselves, which kind of plays into the maturity that I was talking about going into, into the beginning of the year. Uh, kind of knowing when to slow it down and, like I said, get the ball to Mike J. Mack or, you know, one of those, like Kyle, one of those guys. and. You know, call something, run something, and just, you know, just having that awareness. Now, the Lakers have a bunch of guys that you played with. Like, mm -hmm. what, what's it like kind of when you're TP, band, or B, yeah. B, like, what, what's what's that dynamic like going up against those guys? I mean, it's always fun. It's always good. You know, those are guys that I actually uh, gravitated to a lot, too, as well. So, you know, you're going out there, getting to compete against them uh, while they're playing as well, playing well as well. So, I mean, you kind of get to congratulate them on their success this far on how they've been doing, especially TP. Um, I mean, it's been great. And then you're going to, going to compete against each other and then, you know, having that, that last laugh before, you know, you hit the road or whatever the case may be before you guys leave is, is always good to have. He was on fire the last time. He was. He's been on fire the last couple of games. So he's somebody that, you know, we, we've been, uh, you know, looking to, uh, you know, do a couple things with. So uh, we just got to maintain him and, you know, do, do our best job. Now, it's up to my account, so please bear with me here. You probably talked about these things, but um, when you re signed here, did you see this coming um, and, as opposed to curiosity about how you might fit other places and sort of move this place? What, what was it that went into the fact that you, that you stayed here? I mean, I think. Last year was just a little rusty because it was our first year, uh, you know, the two big lineup, you know, everybody was kind of finding their way within contracts and so forth and so, so forth and so on. And I think kind of going into this year, I kind of, we kind of knew like where, where, we were, we were, where we were heading. I mean, just, it was really just one big factor and that was just the maturity thing. Uh, I think that's something that we obviously not completely fully figured out, but we have kind of our uh, heads above uh, at this time. I mean. But I think 
I think I think winning was definitely uh, something that I knew coming into this year. I think we it was a fresh start. Um, I mean, it was just, I, I just, that's the biggest thing I can say. I think I already knew like what we were heading into. It's a it's a luxury for a team to have three bigs in one game. How has that been an advantage in the day to day? Uh, the game by game. Um, well, like with Cat and I, like we got a smaller guy we can go in the post. We have a bigger guy we can go out, outside in the middle. Then with Rudy, you know, he's super big. He's uh, defense, I think defensive player of the year. Um, he goes outside. He goes inside, gets rebounds, uh, fakes a tough play. I mean, it's kind of like a kind of matchup problem, if, you, if I will. Uh, I mean, I think it's kind of just it's tough because. You don't really see three bigs on a day to, on a, well, on an every other day game, you know, when you're playing. So it kind of gives a team a different look to, or how to guard and things of that nature. And like I said, with Cat and I, we're, we can go inside, outside, you know, it's just, it's, kind of, it's a different look. So. There's a lot of talk about Anthony Edwards taking a step this season. Have you seen that? Is it ongoing? Yeah. What strikes you as a hundred percent. I mean, basketball speaks for itself, but this is character. Uh, I've been with him for the last four years now, and it's just like the, the way he's grown off the court, uh, how he can you know, take care of his day-to-day -day business, and how he you know approaches one another, and uh, just his everyday life. I think that was, that was the biggest thing for me. I mean, he, obviously, his basketball, like I said, his basketball speaks for itself. His numbers go up. His, his, his game play is going up. He's helping everybody on the court. Uh, but yeah, just like his his character for me and his maturity. Thanks, Thanks Alex. Appreciate, Appreciate you. you. Thanks. <laughs>